So the Megamoto 212 with the Tillerson 225 did 52.81 miles per hour and 3.12 zero to 30. Straight out of the box with no tuning. So the Tillerson 225 comes with a VM22 slide carburetor. So to see if we can get some more top speed and maybe a little bit more quickness out of the Tilly 225, I picked up this 28 millimeter slide carburetor for $16.81 shipped. It comes with some extra jets and the adapter for the intake manifold and then your vent hoses. So anyway, I'm gonna install this $16.81 28 millimeter slide carburetor on the Tillerson 225, and we'll see if it outperforms the VM22. So I'm gonna pop off this bowl Let's see what we got in here. Pull this jet out of here. Let's see what we got. Okay. Came with a 120 from the factory, so that's about right. It comes with a perfect size jet, at least for me up here anyway. 3,700 feet. Another thing that's cool about it is the kit comes with a, um, a jet kit. And I noticed the jets are right in the range of where we'd need it. So this one's a 135. And this one here is a 122. Perfect. So this thing's already jetted for about what I need, I think. Or really close. All right, there we go. Go ahead and install this on the Tillerson. Yeah, so I'm not even going to check the low speed on this thing. Because it's got a 120 main, so probably in the ballpark. So I'm just going to let it rip and see what happens. Yeah, so let's pull this VM22 off of here. And I think hopefully the slide's about the same on there. We'll see for the length of the cable. VM22. This carb comes with a sleeve for the slide-on intake manifold. But I don't have a slide-on intake manifold. So I popped the one off the VM22. And I'll just cut it like I have before to make a slide intake manifold. Because you can still use a VM22 on it afterwards. Just use the tube in the middle if you wanted to. All right, there we go. So now you can just use the tube in the middle. So I'll pop this end on here. Make sure I get it the right way. So the piece the carb came with on this one is a little bit too short for this application because it hits the chain guard a little bit right there. But that's an easy fix because I can pull this off and use this longer piece that I have, just a little bit longer. So that'll work. Kick it out there far enough. So throw some clamps on this. Nice and tight on there, clears everything. Pull this slide off of here. And then hopefully the cable is the right length. All right. Pull the slide out of there. Pull this VM22 end off of here. And the slide. Okay, there we go. Plastic piece goes down in there. Okay, there we go. I think that'll do it. We'll see if we get throttle. Let's 
see if that'll work. Oh yeah, perfect. Actually got throttle. Cool. So all the ends so far are the same on all these slide carbs. Two and a quarter. So now I'll use the fuel line and a air filter. Put the fuel line on here. I'll throw all these vent lines on here. All right, we're now one down there. So I don't have an air filter for this thing. So I'll just use a velocity stack for right now, just to get this, get it running. Okay, so there we go. Hopefully it runs good. We'll take it out for a zero to 30 and top speed and see if we can beat 52.81 and 3.12. Yeah, it might perform worse, who knows? One way to find out. so far. Okay, I did a top speed of 54.96. Okay, so the Megamoto 212 with the 28 millimeter carb did 54.96 top speed. So it gained a few miles per hour and 3.10. So it was the quickest time so far from zero to 30. It was kind of hard for me to do it again. I only did it once because um, it's hard to get it to idle. I need to tune that carb. So the Tillerson 225 definitely likes the 28 millimeter carb. To be fair to the VM22, I probably could have got a little bit more quickness and speed out of that carb too, if I would have tuned it. Okay, so the Tilly 225 with the VM22, best time 0 to 30 was 3.12, and top speed was 52.81. Then I installed the 28 millimeter carb, did 0 to 30 in 3.10, and a top speed of 54.96.